Bananas are an example of objects that are perceived as having one single color. This is the case even though the color information at the surface of such objects corresponds to a complex color distribution in three-dimensional color space. Examples of such color distributions are shown in the first leftmost figure. The question is how we determine the one single color that is representative of, all of those distributions. We propose here that the distributions of all those single colored objects have a dominant hue that can be determined by the first principal component. The dominant hues are shown as the black lines in the figure. In this study, we wanted to show that human observers neglect the color variation away from the dominant hue. For this purpose, we created one hue images in which colors only varied along the dominant hue, that is the black lines in the figure. Then we tested whether observers are able to discriminate the one hue version from the original photos with the full color distribution. The task is illustrated by the second figure. In this example, the one hue version of the cherry can be identified by the stem being gray instead of green as in the, in the three original photos. To show how difficult it is to spot the one hue version, we created a comparison condition. In this condition, we left the shape of the distribution untouched and rotated the distribution a tiny bit in color space. This means that the object changes in its overall hue in a barely visible fashion. For most objects, the one hue version was still more difficult to distinguish from the original than the rotated hue version. This can be seen by the gray bars being lower than the blue and the red bars in the third figure. Objects where this did not work were either control objects that appear to have more than one color, such as the frog and the rose, or objects where all conditions, including the hue rotated ones, were not visible as for the for hashtag the dress. We also obtained similar results in the second experiment in which we used unrecognizable shapes. And in a third experiment, we showed that observers were able to identify the one hue images when we showed them before what to look for, such as the stem in case of the cherry. The results, these results show that for many objects, the hue variation across from the dominant hue is negligible. This is partly because the small hue variation in such objects is barely visible and partly because observers focus on the dominant hue. The results from the second experiment with the unrecognizable shapes also suggest that familiarity with objects barely contributes to the focus on dominant hue. Together, these findings explain how human observers perceive and represent the colors of objects, but they may also be very useful for computational representations of object colors.